Everybody now. Oh, I like this place. Oh, I like this. Oh, for goodness sake. Oh, I like this. Um, okay. Also, we have a very special poll that somebody wrote on the topic of mental health. And uh, this person is a recent graduate from Plattsburgh State. Oh, 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 oh. And also from the psychology program. Good call. We need your help. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna get my All right. Hello. I'm nervous, so I'm going to sit, actually. Um, hi, thank you for having me um, and giving me your time. My name is Taylor. Uh, I am a clinical mental health counseling student. Uh, I'm currently working towards my master's degree. Uh, I have the privilege of interning at Citizen Advocates out in Saranac Lake. Um, so I've been working as much as I can in the field, trying to help and make a difference. Um, Mainly because I have been through a lot myself. Um, I've had multiple diagnoses of depression since a young age, so um, it's been an ongoing thing for a while. And I feel like with the COVID pandemic, a lot of things have come to light that weren't necessarily always as apparent, um, including some of my symptoms as well as things that are going on in the world, like the racial injustice, the illness, the travesty that's happening to everyone in the world. Um, so as a normal human being, how do we cope with that? Um, as someone with depression, how do we cope with that? What do we do? And uh, I write. So I wrote a poem a little bit about what it feels like when it feels like the world is ending, essentially. So this poem is called Screw It, The World <laughs> Is Ending. <laughs> All this time I've been spending thinking of our fate that's impending, I'm tired of pretending that the world isn't ending. I'm 23 years old and my student debt is extending. $77,000 later and I'll pay it back depending. If I could even get a job that'll make up for all of this spending. But screw it, the world is ending. What I'm truly not comprehending is how the life of our earth is descending by the hands of our own species overspending the resources we need. But screw it, the world is ending. The line between love and hate is blending. Social media is the culprit I'm sensing. We've become so disconnected from each other, it's upsetting. But screw it, the world is ending. Our basic needs are not being met, it's unrelenting. Any ounce we get, we've been expending. Staying alive is no longer a human right, how unsettling. But screw it, the world is ending. All that being said, these thoughts in my head are never ending. The messages they're sending, leaving me no other option, this is what I'm intending. I'll make my peace with this world. Screw it. It looks like my world is ending. But you see, accepting the world is ending can be comforting and freeing, but it rids our lives from any meaning. Even though our existence and mere being can feel depleting, you have the power to overcome that feeling. I know that you're bleeding, and I could hear that you're screaming. I understand your desire for leaving, but let's just try this one more time while you're still breathing. The human condition is grieving, but it's also healing and dreaming. And although it's deceiving, this range of emotion is something we're needing. To feel is to be alive, and this human experience is only guaranteed in this lifetime. We'll never know for sure if we'll get this opportunity again, I've realized. So isn't that a reason to still try? So yeah, I'm 23, and my debt has tripled degree after degree. But my imminent reality is that there's nowhere else I'd rather be. My friends and teachers I have met became my heroes. They saved my life, I hope they know. I can't put a price on this life that I'm living, but if I did, it would have to be two sevens and three zeros. And yes, climate change is a thing that's real, but the ideal that one person can fix it all is unreal, because we are not a separate being sent to fix nature's ordeal. We are nature itself protecting nature, and from this, we will heal. The collective is still strong, I could promise you this. If you leave now, you will certainly be missed. Even if you feel unworthy, please try to dismiss the idea you're not loved, just consider this. I don't know who's listening, maybe one of you or two, but what's bringing meaning to my life right now, it's you. 
If you weren't here right now, my words would have nothing to do, no ears to land on, no eyes to see through, through the walls I've had up, the walls I outgrew. So, thank you for holding space for me. Just know it goes both ways. Even if you don't know me, I'd love to hear what you have to say. We need to hold more space for each other. Help is just a phone call away. And if you ever feel like your world is ending, just know it's not today. Thank you.